Dr. Katiel from CCC Smiles. Uh, I'm an orthodontist and uh, today I just want to do a quick tutorial for some people um, who enjoy doing orthodontics as general dentists and would like to learn about bracket positioning. So I'm doing a direct bonding here and Arlene is going to focus right here. We're doing a direct bond. We've already etched the teeth and we have put some primer on. The primer I like is uh, OptiBond Solo right there. And the trick is we've got some pink clarity, um, I'm sorry, transpond ad adhesive um, with pink, which is fantastic. We've got that on our bracket mesh and we are going to just place this bracket. Okay, and as we're placing, as you see, I've just dismantled this. I'm going to show you, you've got to seat the bracket really well. So really push down on the bracket. Once it's seated, you don't want to move it too much. Okay, so we've got our scaler to remove any flash. And you can also remove it later on with a high speed. And you want to get it right at the center of the clinical crown. At the same time, you want the vertical axis, the long axis of the clinical crown, matching with the vertical jig. You want similar heights on all incisors if that's your diagnostic um, and treatment plan. So sometimes you've got to really, it's a really fine art getting these bracket positions nearly perfect. So we're just continuing on again. I'm seating the bracket. I've got my flash that I'm removing. But once I seat it, I'm not going to move it too much more, okay? A lot of times I'll be looking, before we cure this now, I'll also be looking with my mirror and looking from the front on as well. So I think this needs a little bit more occlusal. And I'm gonna show you the canine bracket now. This is your lower left canine. Again, I'm pushing it down. Once you seat it, don't move it too much. Remove the flash. With canines, I often place them a little bit mesially to the long axis. Helps to roll them out a bit more and you know gives you a bit of space for lower incisor crowding. Um, again, just look at the vertical heights. You wanna kind of maintain this vertical height that's already there. This is a simple class one, minor crowding, um, similar to relapse cases that you might see in your practice. And uh, this is the three, four, being placed doesn't come with the jig so you've got to do a free phone now what I'm doing the horizontal slot needs to match to the marginal ridges you've got to level the marginal ridges here and I'm not sure it is level okay and I know I move my three a bit okay this is direct bonding at its best and I just wanted to share this with you. So we're going to cure it. Do you mind doing a quick cure? I'm pretty confident these are good positions, <laughs> even though as confident as you can be, you can never get it perfect. And we just do a really quick cure across so they don't move too much. And once we do a quick cure, each bracket will now be getting individually cured for about 20 seconds. Okay, this is an amazing light, by the way, if anyone wants to buy this LED light. It's a six second cure for each bracket, but we do it for 20. Don't ask why, because I don't trust light manufacturers. Um, so here we go again. They're not gonna move too much now. And this is a class one minor crowding case. And as you can see, that's direct bonding. So thanks guys, a short video today. And I just wanted to share because people often ask me, how do you place brackets? And I thought I'm just going to show you clinically how I'm doing it. So thank you for watching and enjoy. Bye.